What's happening, people? Coach Barquet. A lot of you probably know me from my Instagram. A lot of you probably know me from a few of the servers and group tests that I'm in. Um, this is the first time I've had my face on camera. And I'm just vlogging with my iPhone 11. I've got no equipment, no tripod, no nothing. Right now, it's my last day in the Netherlands. Um, I'm sure some of you know a good bit about my journey here. I came here as a student, um, dropped out, long story short, then my girlfriend came and just had a great summer here. Um, I'm sure I'll make another video if this is something I choose to do again. I'm just walking around shirtless around my garden here. It's actually really nice. There's a river, there's sun beds, there's a garden. This is my building. I was here for two months. Um, but today I've booked a one-way ticket to Barcelona. So I guess the hero's journey starts today. Um, I'm gonna go inside now and explain why I wanted to vlog all of this. Just a quick reminder to walk barefoot. Now this is what we're working with here. This has been my place for the last two months. It's fucking great. There's a sauna upstairs. Um, a lot of you probably know that I'm a sneaker reseller. So uh, yeah, I had to pack all of this up myself yesterday. I was stressing about it quite a lot. Um, that's my two bags. There's another bag in there. Um, it's a one-way flight. Yeah, let me let me turn this around. So I have to pack all of this shit up. Um, those boxes I'm gonna have to ship back to my family home in Ireland. And I'm getting a friend that I met here to help me out with that. Um, yeah, it was it was quite rough packing everything. Um, the reason why I wanted to vlog all of this is because, yeah, not not many people out there like truly just you know letting go of of everything we've been conditioned into believing and you know i i hate to say it but like you know most of my friends or past friends you know that like everyone's stuck in this like little made up world of of college and university and like just going out every night and and, and drinking and and drugs and I don't know, it just wasn't for me. So yeah, I came to the Netherlands, dropped out of uni. Um, I've been doing my own thing here. Um, and now, yeah, moving to Spain tonight. I wanted to vlog this because I'll probably go insane if I don't because I'll be alone a lot. Like tonight, I'm gonna be sleeping in a 24 person dorm. Like it's a hostel that I've booked for myself. Um, I've booked it for two weeks. Um, so we'll see how that plays out. Hopefully within the two weeks, I'll have found myself a nice studio in Barcelona. However, it does seem a bit rough. Um, then again, over here, like if I manage to find this spot, which is like sick, I have an infrared sauna upstairs. Um, shouldn't be an issue. Uh, just the thing is in Barcelona, they asked for like two or three months deposit up front. So yeah. I think the thing I want to do with this vlog is just to initially have it as raw, as unedited as possible. Just literally me and the phone and I'll just put everything together, upload it to YouTube. Because right now, I don't know how to edit. I don't have time. I'm going to be in a hostel, so I'll be busy, you know, looking for a spot for myself. So I don't think I have the time to invest in some more quality content. I'm also busy with obviously everything else I'm doing. But look at this gorgeous day out today, guys. God, God, look at this. Mm, nothing better. Welcome to the Netherlands. Gonna miss these bikes, man. I hope there's people on bikes in Spain. Really hope there is. Right, let's get a move on. Man, look at all these bikes everywhere. Everywhere. Initially, I was just gonna focus on the Instagram and kinda, you know, just focus on coaching there because I'm really into, obviously, 
physical fitness and mental fitness and mindset and all of that i really do truly believe that i can help people especially people that are lost and on shit fat, fat diets because i've been there before um never thought i'd find myself vlogging but i figured that you know like i don't know anyone else doing the stuff that i'm doing namely just letting go of everything including personal belongings ego job and just just dipping just you know doing your own thing i really hope you can hear me right now but in the netherlands on the first monday of every month they test alarms um like everywhere so i don't know if you can hear it right now listen to this Just the whole country will be fired up for like a minute or two or three. It's kind of it's kind of funny. It uh it kind of got me there by surprise. Not gonna lie, I was just about to start recording, and uh, this started going off in my face. But you know what? I'll take that as a sign. I'll take it as a sign. God, that shit is loud. Though I'm on the on the way to the shop just to get a measuring tape because I have to figure out the dimensions of all the boxes I'm trying to ship back. So we'll catch up with you then. where we get the goods right here all right this might come in handy for later 150 150 uh, one of these one of these let's get out of here okay we got the goods let me open up this thing i think it'll make things much 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 easier for me not gonna lie this thing is an absolute piece of shit but hey look i can put my hand out further now um i think it came broken but what do you expect for 150 um so i'm just gonna cycle home now wrap up the last few bits and uh we head to the gym very very disappointed look at this falling apart piece of shit god i'm gonna miss this place mm -mm -mm. I think the number one thing I'm gonna miss about the Netherlands is these bike lanes, man. It feels like, it feels, <laughs> it just feels like a game of Mario Kart wherever you go. And I bought a scooter, I don't have a license or anything, but I bought a scooter for like 200 euro. Man, there's so much content I missed out on here. It's been about a month since I got a haircut and I was thinking of getting a haircut. Uh, Look fresh or whatever for Barcelona. Press a few girlies, whatever. Now I'm playing, but I think I'm gonna keep growing it out. Looks healthy, looks good. I'm, I'm, I'm digging it, you know. So, I'm gonna keep growing it out. Uh, I guess this is gonna be the hair growing accountability. This vlog. Look at how nice it is. I can't get over. Like when it's when it's not nice, it's it's horrible. It's rock bottom here. But when it's nice, it's nice, dude. I gotta say, when it's good, it's good. Look at this Mario kid racing these old dudes. And this is the casa. This is where we live in uh, for another three, four hours. Very high tech, very, very high tech. Uh, 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 uh. Look at this, the shining vibes. Yeah, let's get in here. Okay, let me measure these out. 
And then we gotta clean up a bit more. Mmm, 97, 97, 97. The limit is 100, so I'm lucky here. Okay, I, me I measured everything out. We got about 60 kilos of shoes. Yeah, six zero going back to Ireland. Um, I really hope they're all okay because that's a lot of my money. Like, like a lot of my money. This coffee machine is probably what I'm gonna miss most about this place. And the Netherlands in a whole, actually, I'll add. Let me get some ice. Oh, there's nothing better. Nothing better. Okay, I'm gonna sit down now, I'm gonna talk. Let's get serious. Let's get serious. Let's get serious. I'm moving to Barcelona. Why? There's nothing there for me. I know nobody there. I don't have any friends. I don't have a job. I don't have any family. I don't have any connections. I have nothing there for me. Why am I going? Why am I just giving up my life here? This beautiful life that I've worked so hard for. How many people, how many people can say that they're truly free? That they truly have nothing holding them down? That there's nobody they have to listen to but themselves? That the decisions that they make are fully their own and not just like this, I don't know, this thing we've been pushed into and this, this, this little box you're given when you're born and you're just told, live life this way. This is the only way. I don't know, man. I'm going to Barcelona with nothing but a desire to acquire, with a desire to help, with a desire to become my greatest self. And that's gonna take challenge. It's gonna take sacrifice. It's gonna be hard. It, not every day is gonna be sunny. But that shit doesn't scare me. Does that scare you? Does it scare you? Doesn't scare me. It's gotta be done, man. It's gotta be done. Ooh, you see that shit, boy? You see that shit, man? Mmm. Here we go. Here's how you grow some muscle. You get some rice, tuna, and olive oil, carrot, red onion, a few green olives. Top it off with sea salt. And here we go. Here we go. I promise you, if you eat this in the sun, you're going to build muscle. I promise you. Now, for those that follow my Instagram, um, yeah, I know it isn't the best looking meal, but I'll allow it. I'm moving out. I don't have any ingredients. The house is dirty. The house is messy. I got to clean it all. Allow it. Heading to the gym in about hour, hour and a half. But first, watch this. Hey, if you know, you know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's mandatory. Now, just some white powder before the gym to amp me up. Make sure not to overdo it you know yourself Ooh, look at this beast oh my god What a day, honestly. Um, workout cut short because I'm running a long time. Hopping back on the scooter and we have some stuff to move. Uh, so let's go. Running really long time though, like for real. Oh Lord. Again, starting to stress now. I don't know how I'm gonna fit those boxes in. This little car this is my friend by the way. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it turns out I'm in a huge rush right now. That's what we're working with. 
We got olives, parmesan, sauerkraut, mince, um, rice, and a bit of goat's cheese. I had two rock hearts before this. Oh, cleaning this house. Leaving in 10 minutes. I'm literally sweating. Look at me. I'm sweating from cleaning. This is like speed run cleaning. Look at me. God damn, but it's looking good. It's looking good though. It's looking good. Look at that. Okay, this is the last goodbye. Let's check the Bateman fit. Mmm, Bateman fit. Goodbye. I got so many bags. Basically, this is what we this is what we're doing. It's just not ideal having this many bags, but we move. Okay, look at my face. It is not fun having all of these bags. It is not fun. I can barely walk. I can barely move. Can't even sit on the train because I'm gonna have to either go up or go down. So I'm sitting here in front of the toilet. Oh my God. It's not ideal. But we made it, we're on the train. We're on the train despite all odds. Look at the weather, man. I'm not gonna lie, it was incredibly tough trying to sort everything by myself and do all of that. Um, if not my friend, time to be better on Instagram, Valter. I could not have done that, I just gotta give that. First vlog, shouting someone out, time to be better. Thank you, bro. Could not have done it without you and your small little, t <laughs> small little orange Toyota. Bro, beyond words, grateful. It's so nice in the Netherlands, man. Look at all this. I wish I could see this from the plane, but... Okay, made it to the airport. It's time to hand these bags in. Let's go. This airport is huge by the way there's like a whole ass shopping center here so it's huge it's fucking bags La -di -da. <laughs> yeah i had to pay 45 for this board um the lady she wanted to let me take it on for free but her colleague beside her was like just an absolute prick giving shit to to people about the vaccine. Like some girl beside me won't catch her flight because she had the vaccine two weeks ago and you can only travel 15 days after, which is absolutely crazy. Look at me here walking fa police right there. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. But yeah, 45 to take this on. Um, I dare. I dare one of these people to kick me off, off my board. I dare one of them. <laughs> Look, like nobody gives a fuck. You can literally do anything you want. And that's what's crazy. When you just act like you, you, you're doing what you're meant to be doing. Like, look at me. I'm longboarding through like Europe's biggest airport. Face maskless, vaccineless. No, it's literally, you can do anything. It's crazy. Still going past the gates. Ain't nobody care. You can do anything you want. Look at this. That was actually really nice. They didn't ask me to take out any liquids or do any of that bullshit that you have to do at other airports. It was really nice. It was like two seconds. Shout out Skip Hall. I've been at this airport a bunch of times, so every time I come, it just gets bigger and crazier. It's making a lot of noise, look at that. Look at that, look what they did to my board. But yeah, ooh, you know what I'm gonna do? No way. Here we go now. I'm fucking unstoppable. What they gonna do? What they gonna do? What they gonna do? Ooh, 
there's no turning back now, boy. Oh my god. We're really made it. Really here. I don't think there's gonna be anything more perfect to finish this vlog off than a nice takeoff. So that's exactly what I'll do. securely fastened until the seatbelt sign has been switched off. Okay, we've landed. Um, they definitely seem a lot more strict about COVID here. How can I lie, it's kind of funny. Um, really tired. Yeah, waiting on the bags. If you look here, you'll see that every airline from around the world has flown into Amsterdam, apparently. Or from Amsterdam, even. But the bags are nowhere to be seen. Okay, I've made it to the bus. It's hot. It's sticky. It's sweaty. Um, I mean, I'm still with that friend that I was talking about on the flight. Frank, he's right here. Uh, who knows, maybe he's a character you'll be seeing more often. Who knows, who knows? <laughs> yeah, um, first impressions is hot. It's, it's very hot compared to the Netherlands. This place, yeah, obviously I'm very tired. Look at my face. But yeah, this place is nice. Um, kind of big and Dude, I'm so tired. I need, I need to get to bed. I need to get to bed. Oh, this shit is killing me slowly. I can't even lie. Also, I was told not to make much noise or attract much attention. It's a different world here. Listen to this. No, that's not even loud. That's not even loud. But back there. All this shit is so loud. Oh, my God. Okay. This is absolute suffering of the board here. Every footpath has like really deep ridges. So I can't even walk with this, with the wheels. I don't know why I brought the board because I won't be able to fucking skate anywhere. That's what we're working with. But I am sweaty, like even on my arm and shit. This is torture. This is like... 65 kilos if not more this is literally the most awful thing i've ever done i'm so thirsty I haven't drank water i'm so tired <sighs> look at me oh my fuck this is so hard you've no idea on this with three like look at my look at my hand pump right now from carrying this shit <sighs> Fuck, dude. Yeah, I really hate complaining, but this is the worst thing I've done in my whole life. I feel like Jesus with the cross. It's, it's 20 to two. No words. Fuck me, dude. Almost there. First impressions, it's all right. Like there's a lot of people here doing their own thing. Kind of just well, students and stuff, Erasmus students. Um, busy day tomorrow. I gotta get back on track with food and water. Try some of the tap water here. It's fucking awful. So busy day tomorrow. It's like, Ten past two. Way past my bedtime. Yeah, I think I'm gonna 
and the sea. Good night, people.